Thus far on my gaming vault I've mainly focused on Japanese games and also a couple of US ones. Pretty much games that you can only get on an import in the UK and generally they cost quite a bit of money as well. So today I thought I'd do something a little bit different. Let's take a look at a good old British game on a good old British computer, the BBC Micro. We're going to take a look at Felix Meets the Evil Weevils. This game you can get for next to nothing on eBay and uh, probably you've never seen it before or played it before. It's quite an obscure one. So let's just take a look at the fact file for this one. Firstly, I should mention though that I don't have the game in its original format. All my BBC Micro games are stored on an MMC card reader on the BBC Micro, which you can see the menu of booted up behind me. But let's share some stats about this game anyway. So the game is Felix Meets the Evil Weevils, released in 1994 in the UK, published by Micropower. It was also available on the Acorn Electron, but that and the BBC Micro are the only two machines that this game featured on. Developed by John Grove. The price I paid is obviously not applicable, and if you want to get a copy of this, you can buy a copy on cassette on eBay right now for £2.50. A little bit of information about the game also is that it's a sequel to two other games released by Micropower. Felix was kind of a mascot for that company, I guess. Sort of like Mario, but not as good. Uh, the first of those games was Felix in the Factory, which was a platformer. second game was Felix and the Fruit Monsters, which was more like a Pac-Man clone. Those two games are pretty poor. This one, I think, is probably the best of the bunch based on my previous experience. So let's take a look at it right now. I have no physical copy of the game to look at, then we'll just look at this menu system very quickly. This is the uh, MMC card on the BBC, and basically it's just uh, 65 pages of games with uh, about 20 games on each page. So we go to Felix Meets the Evil Weevils and press return. And they ask you if you like instructions, so we'll take a look at those. Here's the instructions. Killer weevils are over on the factory. You've got to spray them in the face with pesticide. Uh, you've got to pick up an aerosol cal to kill, kill each weevil. And you must be quick because if a weevil reaches the pulsating mutation chamber, it will become a purple super weevil. Also beware of ball bearings, uh, which can kill you. You've got some items to pick up. You can pick up a lever, which allows you to reverse the conveyor belts, oxygen cylinders, to replenish your decreasing supply of oxygen, not quite sure why you've got that in a factory, um, and emergency panic button, which makes you immune to weevils and ball bearings. Uh, some scoring details and the controls, so it's keyboard only, as were a lot of BBC Micro games, because every joystick they ever made for the BBC Micro was pretty much a load of crap. So there's uh, controls for up, down, left and right, spraying the aerosol, uh, reversing the belts when you've picked up the appropriate item and also the emergency panic button uh, and basically you get an extra life for every 10,000 points scored that's about it so we then skip to the high score table with just five high scores uh, and you'll see some recognizable names from 80s cartoons and comics there plug from the bash street kids danger mouse nasher obviously the uh, compatriot compatriot companion of Dennis the Menace, uh, Hong Kong Fui and Dick Dastardly, so obviously a fan of cartoons and comics, the guy that wrote this, and that's it for the sort of introduction stuff. So let's get on with the game. Hopefully you'll be able to hear the sound on this. There's no volume control on the BBC Micro, so basically you're just hearing it from the internal speaker and hoping I'm hoping that you'll be able to hear some of the noise. So you're Felix starting at the bottom of the screen there, a little uh, animated guy walking around and uh, that's a weevil that's just come onto the screen there, the, the green thing. So you've got to make your way around the factory, picking up various items and eventually trying to get rid of these weevils. So the O is from the word bonus, that's the lever control for the belt which now means if I stand on this conveyor belt and press shift I can make it move either left or right which allows you to direct the uh, ball bearings away from you. That's the spray can that I've just picked up for the killing the weevils. That's an oxygen tank as well. So I'm just going to go around and try and get all these bonus letters because you get an extra 500 points if you collect them all. Here's one of the weevils now. No, he's gone the other way. Basically, you, know, you can only get them if they're coming towards you. So you have to kind of be a little bit careful when you 
unleashing the aerosol. You only get one at a time, remember, so you've got to try and direct it accordingly and not get caught by the other one. Come on, come up this tube, you little sod. Oh, it's gone the other way. There we go, got him. So there you go, that's got rid of one of them. And then another aerosol can appears. Pick that up. The mutation chamber, by the way, that turns them into the purple super weevils is that thing at the top left there that's flashing. And uh, neither of them have got anywhere near it on this stage, which is a good thing, because they move very fast when they do get there. Where's this guy going now? Right, if we can get back across here in time. When this guy pops out the bottom, I'll be able to blast him. Got him. And that's the first level completed. And it goes on with similar sort of things for the next level. The main difference being that the layout of the um, tubes and conveyor belts is different. Um, the mutation chamber is now in the middle, which means it's more likely that the weevils are going to get to it. Uh, and otherwise it's pretty much to say, oh, there's more weevils on this stage as well. So every stage another weevil appears. Oh damn, he came out and got me. So that, there goes my first life. And uh, if you lose a life, then it, the whole thing resets and you've got to do it all again. I can't get to that there, that's annoying. So the graphics are quite, oh God, annoying. Uh, the graphics are quite nice on it, obviously very basic for the, the era of the game. Oh Christ, this is suddenly turned into a disaster, that's it, game over. I got a top score, let's go again. As I was saying, uh, the graphics are quite nice, they're uh, quite compact little sprites, very arcadey style game, so um, I, I like the, uh, the tubes that you go up and down and also the animation of the little weevils is quite cool, how they kind of squidge around. That's annoying, that bonus letter's appeared at the top there. Let's see if I can get a little bit further this time. Oh, I've missed him. It can be quite an infuriating game when you miss the, uh, the weevils with the aerosol. And they do kind of squidge off in the wrong direction quite a, long, a lot of times as well. They're not really aiming to get you, they just kind of wander around and if you happen to run into them, that is unless they turn into the purple super weevils. Oh, it's gone back up that tube again. Come on you little bugger. Oh, what am there? Oh, I must have run out of oxygen. This is getting very infuriating now. Not the best demonstration of the game. I can do better on it than this. Let's just try and get this over with quickly this time. Now he will inevitably have to come back down here, so hopefully I can get him when he comes back down. Got him. Right, there we go. That was over a lot more quickly, though. I didn't get the bonus letters that time. So let's have another go at that second level. You'll notice I haven't used the emergency panic button. There's really no point to that. I can't even work out what it does exactly. I'll press it now just to show you. It does that. And I think by the time the beeping's finished, um, basically the, the usage of it has uh, worn out. So you'd have to be in real dire peril to actually want to use it. Okay, oh, that's useful. Thanks for that. Okay, 
Now one's become a purple super weevil there, I don't know if you noticed that in the middle, but they move around a lot faster and they're a lot more dangerous. They kind of move around all over the place. Here we go, it's coming out. Got him. Ha <laughs> ha. So one more to get rid of on this stage now. Oh, that's nice again. Let's just put it exactly where I want it. So I've just got this one guy to get. And there we go. Another level completed. Now it becomes more challenging again because there's only certain ways to get up to the higher levels. And I just messed that up straight away from the beginning there. Oh, carried away. Yeah, so you can fall, obviously as you've seen, you can fall to your death by falling too far off the edge of a platform as well. Just to make it another reason um, to kill you off. There are numerous ways you can die in the game. And as you can see now, there's more than one mutation chamber, so it makes it a little bit more difficult still. They're all like sat at the bottom of the screen at the moment, which is a bit frustrating. I'm going to have to wait for them to make their way up to the top, or I'm going to have to go down and get them more realistically. Right, this guy's coming my way. Got him. There's a full set of bonus letters achieved. This bit at the top is very confusing because there's only certain ways to get around it. This bit at the top right. Amazingly, we've had no super weevils yet. Well, that's about to change, I think. Okay, so... It's going all over the place. Well, standing in the middle of here is probably one of the best places to stand, ironically. You've also got that whole risk-reward mechanism of... Do you wait for them to become purple so you can get more points? Or do you just try and get them when they're green? This guy's... No, no, he's gone the other way. He's going to come down there. Oh. He's got to come back up here eventually now. There we go, that's another one disposed of. Oh, that's all the way over there. That's quite frustrating. So just one guy left to get now on this stage and you've pretty much seen all there is to the game it just gets more and more difficult as it progresses um it's a cool little game i think it's very arcade style it's quite a unique premise i don't think i've ever seen anything quite like that i've run out of oxygen again there which means the whole level resets or it would do if i had any more lives left so that's the end of that really you get the idea fun little game nothing too spectacular uh, obviously i can't say whether i would keep it or not uh, because it's on this SD card so I'm definitely keeping it but if it was a physical copy I would keep it anyway so uh, something a little bit different there an old school BBC micro game a uh, bit of a change from all those Japanese and American imported games that cost quite a bit of money and there you go top score is mine <laughs>